Welcome to Teaching with Toys. Hi, I'm Mary, and today we're going to look at Osmo's Tangrams. You'll need the Tangrams, you'll need their base and reflector. You can purchase these either individually or with other kits. See my description below to find out more information. You'll also need an iPad, and today I'm going to use the mini iPad. Like building blocks, Tangrams can teach children about spatial relationships. It will also teach them geometric terms as well as build stronger problem solving abilities. Teaching tips. Here are my teaching tips. First, let your child play with the pieces and get familiar with each of the pieces. There are seven. And then, before you plug it in, you might want to do my math lesson and my reading lesson. And then you can use the apps. The first app actually is quite simple because when they're making the characters, they use the, the lines for each of the shapes. So when they're putting the pieces together, they have an outline of each of the seven pieces. When you get to the harder levels, which I would recommend for older children, maybe third grade up, they do not have the outlines of the seven pieces. So it's a little bit difficult. So let's have some fun. For the math lesson, have the child with their tangram pieces identify each shape. I have them listed over here. So a child would say, oh, there's two right triangles and so forth. For older children, you can introduce these shapes and have them make them using all seven pieces. If they get frustrated, you could have a cheat sheet where each shape is outlined. For older children, you can have them make the four shapes, but don't give them the outlines. Remember to teach flipping and turning before they go to the Osmo Tangram. So let's go ahead and play. So here we go. Again, there's easy, medium, and also hard. Easy and medium still have the outline of all seven shapes, so it's a lot easier to do. So you would just turn it on, and then this is the shape they want you to make. As you put it on, it will tell you if you are correct. Remember, children might have to flip. So here we go. And you'll notice that they, they, they shade it in once the piece is correct. And when it's done correctly, they will reward the child by flashing and then the horse appears to be moving, and then they check it off. Now, the medium is similar. Oh, I can look at the castle. The medium is similar. So again, they show the outlines. You can also go back home and you can try a different level. And again, the hard level is for those children that don't need the aid of the outline. So as you can see, they have to kind of figure out what the shapes are. So enjoy your Osmo Tangrams and have lots of fun. For the reading lesson, I chose a story, Grandfather Tang Story. And the reason I did this is because it has Tangrams and it's a really great book to introduce putting the Tangrams together to make animals. You can either just download the story or you can purchase the book. I have some information in my description below. So let's take a look. Grandfather Tang Story, a tale told with tangrams by Anne Tompert, illustrated by Robert Andrew Parker. Grandfather Tang and Little Sue were sitting under a peach tree in their backyard. So I'm going to stop it here and fast forward it so you can see that further down you can actually just see the two animals that he's discussing. And you can see here too that you just need um, to use your tangrams and their outline. So it's really simple for a small child to see that there's two small triangles and a square and then that makes the face. So enjoy the story with your child and then have fun learning some math. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications.